How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. You know the drill, the Japanese automotive update has just been revealed. In this video I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about the whole update. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss any videos like this. Let's get into the Japanese automotive update. Starting off with the festival playlist and all of the new cars, we can see a bit of a brief of what the festival playlist is all about this month. We're celebrating Japanese automotive culture with JDM inspired car rewards, blah, 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 blah. There is a new showcase remix available in summer, which is the first week, which features the Nissan Silvia Spec R with a rocket bunny kit in the catch me if you can train race and nearly butchered that then along with that every week of the series has a new photo challenge that will task players to find and capture the japanese stone lantern on to the festival playlist itself and all of the rewards let's have a look so for the full series for 80 points you can get the nissan nismo gtr from 2020 and for 160 points the subaru 22b onto the first week which is summer for 20 points you can get the nissan z finally there it is and for 40 points the toyota at38 the fortathon shop for that week has the nissan r30 uh, 390 the akura nsx the Cat Meow Horn and the Japan Race Gloves. Here are a few screenshots of the rest of the challenges available on that first week. The second week, which is autumn, for 20 points has the Toyota MR2 from 1995, which is the second new car of this month. For 40 points, we have the Subaru Legacy RS. The Fortathon shop for that second week has the Toyota 2000 GT, Nissan 240SX Formula Drift, the wah 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 car horn, and the silver leather boots. Here are some screenshots of the rest of the challenges on that second week. The third week, which is winter, for 20 points, has the Mitsubishi Gallant VR4, which is the third new car of this month. For 40 points, we've got the Toyota AT37. The Forzathon shop for that third week has the Nissan GTR from 1995, the Nissan Rally Raid, the Nature Car Horn, and the Robot Emote. Here are some screenshots of the rest of the challenges on that third week. The fourth and final week, which is spring. For 20 points, we've got the fourth new car of this month, the Toyota Sports 800 from 1965. And then for 40 points, the Nissan Sentra. The Fortathon shop for that third week, sorry, fourth week, has the Lexus LFA, the Diberti Toyota Tacoma, the Announcer Countdown Car Horn, and the Gold Leather Boots. As usual, on screen, some challenges that are available that fourth week. that is all of the festival playlist including four new cars now there is a fifth new car coming this month and that is the oreo pigani zonda you may remember my video on it a couple of weeks back that is now available upon this update so if you have oreos and you have it you can now get it what else have they added well there's some more customization being added to the game and that is new japanese brand car rims I'm very excited about that. There is a total of 23 different sets of rims coming to the game, all of which I have listed on screen right now. We've got Gram Lights, Advan, I don't even know how to pronounce the other two, NK and 5 Zigan. I don't know. Some of them look pretty cool anyway, so all of those will be available within Series 17 for free in the Japanese Automotive Update. We all love a good bit of customization, and I'm quite happy to see that. What else? Well, as predicted, we have an Event Lab Car Park Prop Pack. As you can see here, a bit of details about it. Give your Horizon 5 car meetups the style, flair and uniqueness that they deserve. The Blueprint Builder is expanding its prop library to blah blah blah. You can read it yourself. It has a total of 57 new car park themed props and objects including pieces with snap functionality. On screen I do have actually a video which sort of shows quite a lot if not all of the new car park props and objects which some of them seem pretty damn cool. We're going to be able to make some pretty cool car parks and this explains 
how the Nissan Z wallpaper a few months, uh, a few days ago, wasn't in a location that exists. It's because it was Event Lab props. It all makes sense now. I'm going to let the video on screen roll on a little bit. Now, not much else in the update. There are a few planned bug fixes, as we can see here. Now, obviously, in every update, there's tons of fixes, but they only really note some of them. On screen, we can see the ones they noted. So if you've had any, had any major issues, we can see the fixes on screen. In my next video, or whenever my next video is, I'll probably show the full changelog. It's always a little bit different. So, yeah always good to see fixes and we have a bit of information as what is next the march update series 18 is the horizon wilds takeover interesting last year in march we had horizon bush wake at uh, takeover now we have horizon wilds takeover seems like it's going to be very similar to last year more specifically it says it's going to re the return of refreshed stunt park new cars, decorations and the collectible. And if we go to the splash screen, we can see on the 2nd of March, we get stunt park, collectible, new cars and new decorations, which I find interesting as well. So yeah, the stunt park's coming back. It's going to be refreshed. It's going to be different. It's not going to be the same. I certainly have no complaints there. It's always good to see new fresh updates, but they can't do that all the time. Now, obviously, this is going to leave everybody wondering when on earth is the second expansion coming? It can't be February, it can't be March, it's going to be at least April. And we've been told many, many, many times that it's going to be early 2023. Is April early 2023? I guess it is, but a push. So I'll be very surprised if April or May is not the second expansion release date. It makes sense, it must be coming eventually. And we're still waiting on the Donut Media Part 2, and the Illuminati update as well. There, there's two other updates that we know are coming, but we don't know when. Three, if you include the second expansion. Pfft, I guess we'll find out. And as you may remember, we have Ken Block stuff coming in the Horizon Wilds Takeover update as well. All of the stuff listed on screen, which has been promised for March due to his passing. They have added a few tribute sort of Ken Block related items, as I spoke about in my previous video. So yeah, that's all coming in March as well. If you expected more, I have been warning you not to get your hopes up. We know what it's like. We get our hopes up. We expect too much and we get disappointed. So four new cars. New event lab props that are pretty cool. It's good enough for me. So anyway, guys, make sure to leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more content just like this. And I'll see you all later.